What's up guys, Andre here with another video. So what today is going to be about is uh, tips and tricks on how to use your XZ Premium. So I've had this phone for about two, three weeks. One thing I'm going to point out straight away is that it is a fingerprint magnet. It is ridiculous how fingerprints stick to this phone. That's on the front and the back as well. Um, other than that, I'm absolutely loving this phone. The design of it, I love it. A little bit hard to get a decent screen protector on it. I don't know if you can see that in the video. Uh, I've got a tempered glass on mine and the edges don't sit well on both sides but um, other than that let's begin so one thing I want to point out before we get into the tips and tricks is the fingerprint sensor is insanely fast um, check it out that's really really fast I love it um, I've been having some issues with my S7 Edge with the fingerprint sensor not registering all the time I've never had an issue with this XZ Premium. Cool, so let's get into the tips. One thing that I found out, which is really, really cool, is when you drag the screen down, it allows you to search for things straight away. Now, this feature is extremely similar to the Apple iPhone. So with the Apple iPhone, I believe you can drag down at any point on the home screen and you can search for any app on your phone. And it's, it's literally just the same on this. Um, so all it is, you drag down the screen, allows you to str search straight away. As you can see, I have got a different keyboard. It's not the standard layout from Sony that you get out of the box. Something I really didn't like was Sony's um, keyboard. It's not their keyboard, but it's just the one they use um, factory out of the box. So the one that I downloaded, this is the, um, the Google keyboard. It allows you to type swipey, 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 as well as um, just a normal type if you feel like doing that. Um, which I absolutely love. So the way to get that keyboard is if you go into your Play Store and literally just search for Gboard or Google Keyboard and install that and it's going to uh, run you through the settings on how to get that on your phone. The second thing I'm going to talk about is how to speed up this beast of a phone. It's got a lot of horsepower, a lot of potential. So what I mean by speed up is the animation, the time it takes for a window to open and close down. So if I just show you this so if I were to just tap on my Chrome here to open up uh, YouTube, um, that's the animation of it coming from down, going up. That takes roughly about a second. Now the way to speed this, so like I said guys, this phone is a fingerprint magnet, uh, which is very annoying at times. Um, so to speed up your phone, what you would do is you open up the phone, you'd go into your settings. If you scroll all the way down, Go into about phone and if you scroll all the way down you'd find build number if you tap that until it says uh, you are now uh, a developer go back you should see another option in the settings which says developer options and tap on that scroll all the way down uh, about midway through you'll find something that says window animation scale transition and animator duration scale to speed things up what you need to do tap on the first one and this essentially is the speed at which things are done so if you tap on 0.5 and do the same for all three of them now a little warning make sure you do all three of these otherwise this can crash your phone because it will do one thing faster than something else for example then load up the text and this can crash up your phone so now if you press on the home button you will see that things are much much snappier and uh, windows open up much faster so if you open up chrome you see that's absolutely uh, much much faster um, if you open up YouTube that has to load but the app itself um, opened up much faster it took 0.5 uh, of a second so calculator instant instant everything much much faster so do use that setting with caution and the third thing is more of a personal preference rather than a tip or a trick is that I love the sound that it makes when uh, text messages are sent. Uh, so that was lacking on the S7 Edge, I couldn't get it to work, so uh, I really do like this. It, again, it's very similar to the Apple iPhone, uh, where you send a text message, it makes like a, a whoosh, a swish sound. It lets you know that the text message was sent. So if I just open up messages and send a text message to Chris, uh, hey Chris, this is a test. So if you just listen to that, that's just a little sound to let you know that the text message has gone through. So that's something I really like. Now the fourth uh, tip or trick, as it were, 
is how to film in 4K. This phone is capable of filming in 4K, absolutely. It was a bit of uh, trial and error before I found the settings. So go on the camera app, just there. Now to film in 4K, you can't just go to your video settings and press settings and change the resolution to uh, 4K. There is no 4K here. So what you need to do is you go back, slide up one more time, and you see there's an option for 4K. Now if you tap that, just allow all these settings, uh, you will be able to film in 4, 4K uh, resolution. So that's, uh, that's essentially that's the settings for filming in 4K. Now the fifth thing is uh, how to film in different slow motion types. So this phone is really hyped up on the fact that you can film in super slow motion, uh, which is great. However, there are different modes to film in slow motion. So I'll just show you that really quickly. Now if you go on the camera app, if you scroll down and tap on the super slow motion settings button, uh, go into settings and here you can choose the slow motion uh, mode so you've got super slow motion which caps is a 960 frames per second that's the one that uh, Sony is sort of uh, basing the super slow motion on the uh, super slow one shot uh, again that's 960 frames per second as soon as you press record that captures it in slow motion and you do have the slow motion the standard slow motion setting which essentially covers uh, captures 120 frames per second it's not very slow essentially with the Apple iPhone you do have a setting to capture up to uh, 240 frames per second and that's continuous shooting with this continuous shooting is only 120 frames per second however you got the insane 960 frames per and the last few points is I want to make before I end this video is that it's got a feature that uh, as long as you're holding the phone in your hand your display is not going to go off. If you're looking at a picture or a video the display doesn't turn off. Now the smart backlight display to get that you would go into settings display tap on the display and find smart backlight control tap on that and when you turn that on the phone display is not going to turn off as long as you're holding the phone it will sense that you're holding the phone um, and uh, if you're looking at a picture or something the display is not going to turn off okay guys so that's pretty much my update on the sony exit premium um, i do like this phone a lot um, one thing i'm going to say is i don't think it holds up um, on night shots as well as the s7 edge or the samsung series so like the s8 however that's probably the only downfall of the phone that i found so far uh, the camera on it, it is amazing pretty much during the day as long as you have very good uh, lighting you are going to have phenomenal shots whether you're taking video slow motion or pictures so yeah this is my revisit to the xz premium my little video i uh, hope you guys find it useful if you did would love a thumbs up or, um, and a subscribe if you enjoyed it uh, if you didn't i hope at least you got something useful out of it cool have a good day guys